I would like to introduce you today to uh, the brand new uh, Excel sheet that I've created. Um, it has a tool that just uh, save a lot of time and effort when you are exporting and importing from the Primavera file um, when you are updating your schedule. So I'll just uh, show in a very uh, uh, short time here how to uh, work with it and uh, how you can use it. So let's get started. So first of all, I have this Excel sheet created. You have to keep it open in the background. You don't have to work on this sheet. Uh, all what I'm going to do is I have this draft schedule um, with these columns shown here. So I need to update this schedule. Let's say this schedule has a data date of uh, uh, May 10th, which is the NTP. Uh, let's, let's say that we will be doing now the May update. So we'll be changing the data date to uh, May 31st. So first thing I will do is uh, copy all the activity hitting Control A and then Control C, and then go into uh, my workbook, and then I'll create Control N to create uh, a brand new workbook. So second thing I'll do is to paste the data here by hitting Control V, and then after uh, putting all the data here, I'll just start my macro. So this is why you have to uh, keep my file open in the background. So you'll hit Control Shift L, which, which is uh, the shortcut key to run the macro. Uh, you'll find these options for you. Uh, first option is convert from XCR. This one is basically you just uh, hit it to um, to color all the activity according to the WBS level and and so on. So uh, I will check this one. Second one is creating the update template. These two can work together. You can hit them together and apply. It will uh, it can be done simultaneously in the same in the same step. I mean, so uh, update template. Uh, is just to uh, put a conditional formatting to highlight any modification that has been done to the schedule. So I will check these two and then hit apply. Uh, now I'll find that the activity, uh, the activity is now uh, is colored or colored according to the WBS level. So uh, uh, here's here's the procedure that we'll be working on. So first thing, if you are the planning engineer and you are uh, making the update yourself, so this is going to help you if you're going to go to the site and just put the update or if you're getting data from construction manager or project manager or site planning engineers. So uh, this is going to be very helpful for you. So you can send them this file and then they can put their input regarding the start, finish, activity, completion date, actual cost, and remaining duration. And then you can work on these uh, on these adjust and these modifications, and then put it right back in your Primavera. It will save you a lot of time, especially in uh, in schedule that has like more than uh, two thousand or three thousand activities. This schedule I'm working on now just have one hundred. It's just a sample for you, uh, so you understand how this uh, how this works. So let's say we will. Uh, edit here the NTP and instead of saying it will start it should start on May May 10th I'll say it start in May 11 and you'll see here that has orange color that means I I make a modification here so also here I will uh, change this one to be May 12 and let's say it's completed in May 16 and uh, it has a 100% so if this is uh, if this is uh, this is an uh, activity that had actual start, actual finish, and uh, percent complete, this one has only actual start. Let's also uh, for those samples. Let's say it started on May fifteenth, and it has let's say forty percent, forty percent completion. So, I also created here. Uh, something that works with either if you are working with a physical uh, percent complete type or a duration percent complete type. As you all know, if you are working uh, with a duration percent complete type, you can either put remaining duration or activity percent complete. Here we will use activity percent complete. If you if your activity is duration percent complete type, you will you will uh, add uh, only here uh, the activity percent complete type. If you are working with an activity that has a duration that has a completion type of uh, physical percent complete you 
you will need also to put here um, uh, the remaining duration uh, as uh, as you all know if you uh, if you adjust the activity percent complete time the remaining duration is not going to be adjusted accordingly so um, it, it it's up to you if you want to create that that's totally up to you so now let's just make sure that we have now three adjustment three um, uh, edit this is let's say this is the update we can now check also one very important note just keep column k blank because it will has all the comments that you will see right now so what i will do now is creating control is hitting control shift l to run the macro let's say this file now that the one that you see the highlights on this file now has um, this file has the update and you need to uh, incorporate that and put it integrated into your Primavera P6 schedule. So first I will check this update before importing. So just select check for import and then click apply. Here you will add the data date. In our case, it will be uh, 5 31st, 2024 and make sure you put it in this format. If you didn't, you will have a pop-up message to, put, to tell you that you should put it in the right format. Now let's click OK. This is the confirmation of your new data date. OK. Let's see now what we have here. So here basically we have the actual, we have the start date. Everything looks good with the exception of this one. You'll find all the comments in black. So this is a comment here. She's telling you that activity is giving actual start and complete percent complete is 0%. So uh, this is actually for me I can accept this change because this is a milestone activity so all what I have to do this is pretty straightforward I will just here I need to make this one 100% so I will copy this activity for example anything that has 100 and then put it right here now I'll tell you how it works remember that only the activities that that's are highlighted in this color the orange color if you are working with VBA code, you'll know that this is a color index of 44. These only the activities, this is only the update that will be going to the Primavera P6. So make sure that everything you need to um, send it to the Primavera has this orange color. So what I will do next is now I finish my update. I can now switch to the Primavera P6 and then click File, Export, Spreadsheet, Activities, and then export and then here you'll find this columns you don't need to put it in the in the same order just make sure you have all the comments all the all the columns everything is is on the list make sure you have id status ws code name start finish actual start actual finish remaining duration activity, activity percent complete and the percent complete type this is how you know that this is a physical or duration percent complete activity and then the actual cost now if everything looks good i will just hit ok then click next and then i can save this one in my uh, in my desktop and then click open now, after I, I exported this Excel sheet, now I'm ready for my last thing I'll do is create a control shift L and then click import and then click apply and then open the desktop. This is a file that I have uh, exported. I'll just uh, check this one here. It will take a few seconds if you are working uh, with a, with a, I would say mid size. Uh, schedule if you're working on a very large schedule with a lot of activities it will maybe take like a minute or a minute and a half maximum and now everything looks good I can now everything I will do now is to go back to the Primavera and just import this spreadsheet so click in spreadsheet and then import and then the desktop and then I find this file again and then click next and import it to the schedule that we are uh, working on now activities okay now let's check this one all the modifications that we have created NTP start on May 11 you can find it on May 11 and for permits and doors and uh, door samples we say that uh, permits May 12 and ended on May 16 let's check yeah it's it's there and the last thing is the doors door samples 
supposed to start on uh, now start on May May 15th and has a 40% uh, complete let's check May 15th 40% everything is in order that's uh, that's uh, that's good now we have saved a lot of time and effort uh, instead of working on the primavera just to update every file i hope you enjoyed it and i hope uh, i will i will uh, put it right there so you can uh, you can work with the, with the file and uh, you can send me if you have any uh, comment or if you, if you want to add some tool to it